A win for global public health with the number of men using tobacco on the decline. The World Health Organization is predicting there will be at least 2 million fewer male smokers next year. The downward trend, they say, is thanks to the introduction of stricter tobacco controls by governments. In what has been described as a powerful shift in the global tobacco epidemic, fewer men and boys are smoking today. That's according to the World Health Organization's latest report on global tobacco use, which found that the overall number of tobacco users fell some 60 million in the last 18 years. Previous declines in tobacco use were largely driven by fewer women and girls smoking. The report identified Southeast Asia as the region with the highest rates of tobacco use, with 45% of those aged 15 or older found to use the substance. But this too is projected to decline rapidly to about 25% by 2025. Meanwhile, the Western Pacific region, which includes China, is expected to overtake Southeast Asia. The World Health Organization has promised to work closely with governments to maintain the overall downward trend. It said changes in global smoking trends were the result of governments stepping up to control tobacco. But of course, um, we cannot be complacent. We need to step up and uh, do more in governance, and that is that we need to still uh, continue uh, uh, stopping advertising for tobacco smoke, which we don't have in all countries yet. We still need uh, to raise taxes, increase the tax volume, uh, and of course, we, uh, should, um, we should not smoke in public places, for instance. While some gains have been made, governments are unlikely to meet the global target of cutting tobacco use by 30% by 2025. If current progress is anything to go by, only a 23% reduction will be achieved. More than 8 million people die from tobacco use each year. And that number includes 1.2 million non-smokers exposed to secondhand smoke.